Alright, what's up YouTube? Avery here from Team Jerry Beans. Uh, I'm going to do a 2013 March uh, deck profile for uh, Ninja, uh, Ninja Control. Um, I didn't use this deck at all last format. I was too busy experimenting with everything. If you'll look through our history, you'll see that I already have a profile for some for a deck like this. But a year ago, yeah, that was a year. That was a year ago. That was last March. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get into this. For this deck, you need three ultimate Ninja Grandmaster Hanzos. It doesn't work unless they're ultimate rare. They have to be ultimate. Yes, they have to be ultimate rare. <laughs> Next up you have two White Dragon Ninjas. Get the glare on the screen. White Dragon Ninja is the heart and soul of, well, Hanzo is the heart and soul, but she is the lock of this deck. She's out. Your opponent cannot pop your back rows. Two Upstart Golden Ninjas. There's a lot of traps in this deck. This guy is a Summoner Monk, except he pinches traps. Two Earth Armor Ninja. He's a Cyber Dragon, except he's not. Raise him. <laughs> so we're going flame Armor Ninja. He combos with Flame Armor uh, Earth Armor Ninja to get your rank 5 plays out. Volcanosaurus. Oh well, yeah, Volcanosaurus this week is going in there. <laughs> Mass Ninja Ebisu. He's not in my original draft of this deck. He was a side deck card. Now what he does is if he's up on the field, he's he is a giant tree nade for, for the number of ninjas you have on the board. So always at least two. Yeah. You, you'll always... He only works if you have another ninja, so you're always going to bounce at least two of their cards back to their deck, back to their hand. Now, that was it for the ninjas. Uh, here's for the non-ninja lineup. Double Valor. Don't need to explain Valor. Double Thunder King. Thunder King can hurt this deck, but it hurts the opponent more than it does me. Because you have a 1900 beater in the field. Yeah. Black Wings, Zephyros, the Elite. There are a lot of continuous trap cards that I can reuse in this deck. So, use him, bounce it back to my hand, summon him. Hey, he's a rank 4. Boo, yeah. And last monster, big bad BLS. Damn. Yeah. Why he did not get banned this format, I do not know. I am surprised he didn't get hit. But then again, there aren't a whole shit ton of decks that can use it, so that probably explains it. Konami still wants to make me cry. Yeah, Konami still wants to make our cameraman cry. Okay, on to the spell lineup. Double MST. Don't need to explain double MST. Double duality. I don't need to explain double duality. Magic Planner. Double. This, I do need to explain. There are a lot of continuous trap cards in this deck. If they are dead, I send them to the graveyard and draw two. Draw power. Yes, it is draw power. Rhoda. Every warrior deck needs Rhoda. Book of Moon. Don't need to explain Book of Moon. And the Holy Trinity of Spells, Monster Reborn, Heavy Storm, and Dark Hole. Do not need to explain any of these. Why Reborn didn't get hit, I don't, I'm surprised. Next is the trap lineup. Two, Ninjutsu Art of Super Transformation. These are what's selling your White Dragon Ninjas. Double Safe Zone. You attach this to White Dragon Ninja, and your White Dragon Ninja cannot be destroyed, and your back row cannot be destroyed. You have a near invincible lock. And you cannot be targeted. Yeah, you can be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's crap. Double Fiendish Chain. Because, as I said, this is control. Well, maybe not ninja control, but just ninja. Double call, because we like double call. Yay, call. I would be running triple call, but I think triple call's too much. For this deck, man. The Solemn Duo. Yeah, man. They, com they can combo with uh, Upstart Golden Ninja. If they're dead in hand, most likely Solemn's going to be dead in hand. Pitch it. Summon a ninja. There's a rank four. Yeah, yeah. Solemn Judgment is never dead. You always have half your life points. Starlight Road. Because you run a bunch of traps. 
Oh yeah, because I run a whole lot of back road. Tarantula tribute. Yeah, just one. I might up it to two at some point, but I'm gonna see how one does right now. And mirror force, same as uh, tarantula. I might make it two at some point, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, now on to the extra deck. I have Cameratech Fortress Dragon. There's no need to explain why this is in here. If you see this in an extra deck, you know what's in the side deck, and you know why it's there. Stardust Dragon. This deck only works if you have a Ghost Rare Stardust Dragon. Same like with the Ninja Hunters. Yeah. Yeah. Got Mace Stroke. Excalibur. Does Rarity matter on the Excalibur? No, Rarity doesn't matter on Excalibur because it's Ex Excalibur. <laughs> okay. Hero Champion Gendiva. This card is great. It acts like a bottomless trap hole. If he's on the board, your opponent tries to uh, summon Rescue Rabbit. Let him get the Rescue Rabbit off, summon their two vanillas. Activate his effect, detach, destroy them both. Double Blade Armor Ninja. Because Blade Armor Ninja is a fucking boss. Make any of your ninjas attack twice. In a reprint too. Maybe. Yes, he's going to be a reprint too. But these are both Order of Chaos first editions. Originals. Matters. Yeah, and if you have both of these on the board, it's an OTK because that's 8800. Shockmaster, because Shockmaster's good and Shockmaster can be made in this deck. Utopia and Utopia Ray. You don't need to explain them. Shark Drake, just because I love Shark Drake. Shark Drake against Samurais is like bam, hit your Shein. Oh, I didn't do a whole lot of damage? Okay, detach. Bring him back. Hit him, uh, drop his head by a thousand. Hit him again. I used it on Grapple once. <laughs> yeah, you can use it on Grapple. <laughs> Crimson oh, Shadow, Armored Ninja, 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 number 12. Yeah, there we go. He's really good. Yeah. I was thinking about doing something with this deck to put Seal of Worry Calcos in here, because if he's on the board, and I have a bunch of special summon ninjas on the board, play Seal, change his effect, they don't die. Yeah. <laughs> Terrace. And Adrius. These two go together. You can't play one without the other. Although I have, and it sucked. Yeah. And Zenmayo. For extra back row hate. Well, actually, just extra face down hate. <laughs> Die. Okay. Since we got time, I believe. Got plenty of time. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the. I'm going to do the side deck. <laughs> Double Cyber Dragon. Pretty. Altered Art. Secret Rare Cyber Dragons. <laughs> Double. Fossil Dino. Pachycephalo. Fossil Dino Gonorrhea. <laughs> yeah, Fossil Dino Gonorrhea. <laughs> Could not believe how much this card helps in almost any given situation. Yeah. yeah. Does have DD Crow. Yes. Because DD Crow is good. Play an Insectors. They, put, they dump the Hornet in Grave. Try to grab it with Centipede. Say no. Pitch DD Crow. Use it in Say no. Give it a Grantha. What are Dark Wolves going to do? How about some more draw power with Max C? Huh? Hey, yeah, yeah, that works. You need to make one. Prohibition. Macro because no, Prohibition is macro live no matter what. There is nothing Prohibition doesn't hit. Meta. Prohibition is underestimated, oh, underrated, oh, and underused. Just gotta know what your opponent's using. <laughs> Double Magic Cylinder. Because the Magic Cylinders are good. <laughs> Especially if you're playing those high powered matchups. <laughs> Chain disappearances. Kind of iffy on these at the moment because I haven't gotten a lot of use out of them. Well, but, then again, but then again, Samurais are going to be making a return this format. Fuck them. You know, we still got Insectors running around. We still got, you know, some Mermel stuff. Because some of their dudes are weak. And the last card. Vanity's Emptiness. Yeah, I do do some special summoning in this deck, but Vanity's Emptiness will stop my opponent from doing it. And if I want a special summon and I have a Magic Plunder in hand, hey, that's two free cards for getting rid of one I don't need. I consider that a plus. Okay. Now that that is done... Oh, okay. What we got here? Now that that is done, this, uh, this deck video was brought to you by stupid people. Because here... I have, I bought a back of Pro Matte Sleeves today, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty. On the back, there are instructions. <laughs> they give you instructions to put the card in the sleeve. Now it says to insert the card into the sleeve like this, right? Now, what it doesn't do is it doesn't tell you what to do if you accidentally put it in the sleeve like this. 
Oh my, you're going too fast for me. I don't understand. <laughs> if, if you accidentally put the card in the sleeve like this, do not worry. All you have to do is reach inside the sleeve. If I can actually do it. Pull out the card, turn it over, and put it in the sleeve. Yes, I know, your minds are blown. Congratulations, you're not a dumbass anymore. Yes, you are not a dumbass anymore. Okay, guys. That, oh. that co okay, now that we got that little bit of comedy over. Oh, no. uh, Any final words? <laughs> yeah, we're not actually being serious. We're just trying to make a joke. Trying to make some people laugh. Don't be fucking offended. Yeah, don't fucking be offended. You know, I know you're not a little kid because I say fuck a lot and you're okay with that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, if you like the deck, hit like. You know, if you like if you like our content, you know, subscribe, rate, all of that good stuff. Uh, anyway, I'm done here. This is Avery with Team Jerry Beans. See you later.